Yo, JD here, Tyrell Linus, and we are here at the Paul Ricard circuit because obviously we have that in real F1 this weekend. And I thought, why not do a hot lap, go in a bit of TT, and we're against Frederick Rasmussen here. And I have to say, this is my favorite track so far. I absolutely love driving this track. And in this first sector, we were very, very strong. Actually, we're actually ahead of his ghost <laughs> coming into this first sector. So we had a very good couple of turn ones. And going through here now, he slightly gets ahead again. But the laps here, well, the lap I did was very, very good. It was my fastest lap, in fact. And got me P3 on the leaderboard. I'm pretty much almost P2 on the leaderboard. So I'm very, very happy with this. I'm really wrestling the car going through here. And as what I was saying before, if you notice in turn one, the mistake I was making when I was doing this is that I was going too hot in, thinking that apex speed is king, but it's not. It's all about that exit speed and getting that slingshot. And that's very, very important. And but I know a lot of you guys haven't got the game yet, but I can't stress enough. It's actually better to break earlier and get a better exit or just a better line through the corner. That is so significant on this game. And the handling, uh, I'm really starting to fall in love with actually. It's, you can really, really push it, but it's very, very hard to get on the actual limits of what you can do in this game. And yeah, it's very, very rewarding. And the force feedback feels great with this wheel that I'm using um, and the cockpit I'm using as well. It feels very, very nice with everything all together and yeah it just feels really 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 fun to play but losing that traction there and that's the the main thing in this game with traction just that fraction difference just will make the difference between the the best drivers and then just the great drivers i think that's what's really is going to be the difference here but i'll be showing you my best up now which is just coming up but coming through here you can see going through pushing a little bit too hard and you just get an invalidation but now this is the best lap that I did in the session here. And I don't know what pole was going to be this weekend. I think the game is quite realistic in terms of the lap time that it's going to be. So we did 29.7 there. And going to this using all the track possible, slow in and then going flat out fifth gear through here. Now, not as good sector one as I had done on previous occasions where I was actually ahead of his ghost. But come through here, fifth gear, fourth gear, then third try and stay as far left as possible before turning in first gear to get extra rotation turning in early really want to attack this and then get on the throttle in the straight line going through this left hander here very easy to lose cars which he almost did and then getting the DRS as early as possible and now Frederick is very very good at this track in esports he's one of the best drivers here want to use all the track 100 meter ball turning in I say a bit further left just to open myself out for the exit this corner and I actually think I get a better exit through here because I'm middle sectors are pretty much identical in this up and I think I gained a slight bit of time there he uses all the track on the entry I take a slightly different line and going to the last break mark board 50 board that's what you want to be turning in staying nice and wide fourth gear really trying to attack the throttle as soon as possible he decides to take a tight line but I go out wide and then cut back again third gear just that extra rotation once you go on the well, straight line, that's where we go on the full throttle. Fifth gear after the 50 meter board, fourth gear, then third again, just an extra bite. And this corner is a very, very difficult corner. In fact, you want to be braking earlier, much earlier than you think. Getting the traction, going across the line now. And we've done a 29.6 and he's done a 29.2, which is like three temps clear of anyone else. I think he's, this track and Baku, are, I think are his best tracks on the game, so. I'm very very happy to be this close to him and I think each day I'm just improving more and more of what I can do and you can see 29.6 here uh, which puts me further on the leaderboard just behind Dominic Hoffman but ahead of the likes of Tim, Alvaro, people like that so thank you so much and I'll catch you soon. Peace.